With the PlayStation State of Play, Xbox Summer Showcase, and Summer Games Fest out of the way, this leaves us with Nintendo as the odd man out for some type of Summer Direct. Let's chat a bit about that today and some potential reveals that we could see here and more up next. What's going on guys, it's Kalo, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content, drop a like on the video, and welcome to the level up. Also, just kind of realizing the light behind me should have been red for this, because it's the direct, but I dug purple today, I don't know, we're all over the place. Well, it seems like ages ago by now, but this here tweet was sent out that did confirm we are getting this classic June Direct from Nintendo. And of course, it will not feature any mention of the Switch 2. As we all know, the Switch's days are numbered, and the rest of the year really won't see any big games hit the console. Mainly because Nintendo is saving all their big guns for the Switch 2. But I do think there's a chance we would see some rather exciting games get announced here. And I know that term has a little bit different meaning here, but in this specific context, the rest of this year for Nintendo can still be pretty strong. So today I wanted to share my list of games that I personally would like to see pop up at this show. And this is going to be in no order or it's not going to have any concrete backing. More or less what I want to see, no fact involved, actually maybe a little bit. So up first I want to talk about the elusive Mario sports game mainly because this is a game I can see making an appearance at this show. Now I think the cycle goes we get a Mario sports game every year or every other year, with the last one being that of the Mario Golf variety. But I think an iteration of these games that has been dormant for way too long now is Mario Baseball. Now I know we could throw in Mario Hoops 2 here, which hey, I'd be happy to see that, but my heart is leaning more towards Mario Baseball. Another thing to note here, the Summer Olympics are being held in France this year, and whenever the Olympics are going down, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games gets another entry. Would I like to see that? No. Do people play these games? I honestly don't know. I really want to know if you guys like Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Let me know, because I, I just don't want to see that game. Next up, let's talk about the great wave of GameCube ports that still are in the pipeline for Nintendo. At least allegedly. We've talked about this all before with the likes of F-Zero GX, the Twilight Princess, and Wind Waker HD bundle all can go on the list. But this ties into a little plan I've constructed over many of these types of videos. I think at the very least we should expect Metroid Prime 2, and potentially three to get a remaster here too. Now, the only reason why I bring up this specific idea is because Metroid Prime 4 has to exist, right? And I'm in this camp, at least as of right now, this is gonna be more of a Breath of the Wild situation where it potentially launches on the Switch and is a cross-gen title on the Switch too. But I also feel this Direct specifically will speak volumes around this idea because I feel as if Metroid Prime 4 isn't mentioned here, you can almost lock that in as a Switch 2 exclusive. Exclusive. Now, as for some really out there takes, and I do mean out there, some ports I potentially would want to see here are Star Fox Adventure, simply because that IP has been fairly quiet over the years. And I have some bias towards Star Fox Adventure. I know that game is pretty much hated across the board, but if you're a fan, let me know in the comments down below. And Nintendo does enjoy releasing a Kirby game every so often. So in the era of GameCube games, Kirby's Air Ride would be a fun game to get here too. Mainly because it could be a nice multiplayer game to throw out there, and it would thrive today. Now on to the really out here stuff, we're going to be talking about Pokemon. I know Pokemon could just kind of hold their own Pokemon Presents in July, which that could be the case here, and they could just talk about Legend ZA. But that right there is my biggest problem this year with Pokemon. They, at least to my knowledge, don't have anything noteworthy launching this year. Which, hey, that's good because they're probably focusing on ZA, and they could be focusing in on Gen 10. But at the same time, this would make the perfect year to release that highly rumored and anticipated Black and White remake, and maybe even a Gold and Silver remake. But in my mind, y'all know where I'm going with this. How about a Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness remake, bundle, whatever have you, or just simply give me the port on the Switch. I'll take it. These games, like I've said countless times before, were way ahead of their time. And I feel as if there's gonna be a time to get one of these games at least 
now would be the perfect time. Now another out there take that I didn't personally have, but I've seen talked about before in other videos, is a physical edition of red, blue, and yellow. Kind of like a bundle type deal. I know it'll never really happen, we have a better chance of them getting put onto NSO, but who wouldn't buy a physical edition of these games? Kind of like Super Mario 3D All-Stars. And if they want to be generous, which I know they're never going to be generous, throw in gold and silver. Now to kind of give you some rapid fire things I've heard over conversations online, we could be getting a new Mario Party game popping up, maybe a 2D Zelda, and Donkey Kong have all been discussed. But here's hoping the rumor of a 3D Donkey Kong game being a launch title for the Switch 2 is in fact real, or at the very least give me DK64 on NSO. That'd be fine. But with all that being said, I'm gonna pass it off to you guys. What are your predictions for this June Direct? Do you have any surprises? Anything really out there? Honestly, it's a safe space. Let's get wild. But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video. And this has been The Level Up.